you know, I went to, uh, I believe it's Lida. Is that the correct pronunciation? And it was part of the Palestine uh, Festival of Literature or Palfest. And we pulled in, we were in like a tour bus and we pulled in uh, and uh, the tour guide came out and he was like, kind of like really, he was really upset. And um, this Palestinian man, and he came out and he was like, um, you know, can, can we just like leave the parking lot? And we're like, sure. And so we left the parking lot and he said, this is the site of a mass grave, um, it, you know, where the bus parked. And it's, you know, it's just really upsetting that, you know, there's no markers or anything like that. And, and so then, you know, he takes us, you know, on this kind of like walking tour of, um, I think they call it Laud now, or I'm not sure yeah. if that's the correct name. In Arabic, but, we should not say it. Yeah, Lid. I think in Hebrew, it's uh, Lod. Lod. Yeah. Lod, yeah. So um, we were walking and, you know, we get to this mosque that's all boarded up. And it was where uh, there was a massacre uh, during uh, the Nakba and um, the, the so-called 1948 war. And um, it was it was just like a fascinating kind of experience. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because, you know, this was like, it was really like, like traumatizing for this man to constantly be like to be reliving this history but then also to be like he's like really careful about what he's saying because you know he's like this is occupied territory you know and um and just talking and narrating this history and then we walked by this uh empty lot there was no development it was it was very strange it was just a lot that was kind of empty and there was a trash bin in the middle of the lot and he said oh by the way this is where uh, George Habash was born and this is where he was this was his house and they they destroyed his house and they just turned it into a dump and it, it was just like you know because I the reason why I'm bringing this up is because George Habash was a Palestinian Christian he was also a resistance fighter and and um you know I was just I was just sitting there thinking like the this is this isn't some sort of like accident all of this is intentional the creation and the recreation and the reconstruction of a landscape right and it's it's to the point where they want to destroy the memory of these people, 